Hey guys, it's Decker here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect the OBS Bot Tail Air to actually OBS Studio. That is right. If you guys don't know, I did a review video on this recently, and this device was absolutely amazing. However, there was one problem lacking with this device was not being able to connect to OBS. But I can say for a fact now that they actually updated the firmware here today, and now it actually connects to OBS, and it's so simple to set up. Like, if you guys did not know, when I first got this from OBS Bot, I got like first prototype it did not work at all they did a firmware update the next day and <laughs> just work so let's teach you guys on how to set this up and if you guys want to check out my full review video on this product of course I have it linked down below but just keep in mind when i said it's still lacking on features it's not anymore it has the full potential unlocked and it's just even better 100 times better i'd say so for right now though let's try to set this up the first thing you want to do is set up your obs tail layer bot somewhere on your studio of course mine's going to be on this tripod here and what you want to do is connect the usb c to double usb c out because what this does it actually has one for power and then one for actually capturing the video onto your computer and what you want to do is just plug that into your device then grab yourself a usb c cable from your power outlet if you want to charge it plug it into the power icon and then what you want to do with the link icon is then plug the another usb c device from the usb c to usb adapter one into the device of course the link and then one into your usb port on your computer so that way you can capture the device the next thing you want to do is go in the obs bot start app and actually go into the three dots once you're in there you'll see the uvc mode once you scroll down a bit you'll see it'll be grayed out what you want to do is enable this so make sure it's red and once you've done that it should pop up on your computer as a new camera device then all you have to do is add it obs go under your sources click the add button and then what you want to do is video capture device and once you click that you're going to see you have a few different options but of course you'll see the obs bot tail air when it's actually enabled and you want to select as your new server source and of course your device will be added now things to keep in mind when you use this you of course have a 4k 30 output when you actually capture it and of course when it goes to pc it'll be that and then whatever you put on your canvas and it'll be uh obs will be just that so it's like 1080 so it's downscaled for me as you can see here which looks pretty clean itself and now keep in mind too as long as you have the obs bot start app in the background of your phone or tablet or whatever device you're using you'll be able to use the ai tracking and presets now keep in mind if you do close the app at all and you use this camera in obs it won't ai track you it'll kind of be awkward in place so you just need to reset that but with that though you're able to use now the obs air tail bot and actually obs studio which is absolutely amazing like you cannot tell me it's not amazing if you guys did find this video helpful make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you don't miss on future tech content and of course i will have a link to this product down below if you do want to get it for yourself and of course if you do use that link it will support the channel always appreciate it until i'll see you guys in a tech video tech grant out